I need to stay closer to me. I have Dixon Otieno. He has a background in science information, informatics, rather, and Nixon uh, Mahanali, who has a background in journalism. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Uh, let, Dixon, let me start with you. What inspired you guys to start a podcast? So each of us uh, runs a tech blog, mm -hmm. and we wanted to have like a, a convergence point where we could discuss things together instead of writing opinion pieces differently. After writing them, we can come together and discuss the different aspects of what we wrote about here. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, is the same story for you, Nixon? Yeah, same story. I mean, uh, you know, as much as we do the blogs, eh, like we are trying to look at how different can we relay this information apart from just writing and having it, you know, in text format. Right. And that's when the idea of podcasting came about. Okay. Yeah. Is podcasting popular here in Kenya? Are Kenyans listening to podcasts? Yes, I think they are. Well, from from what we actually like before we we decided to go into podcasting, we did some research mm -hmm. and that's why we decided like let's do this. So Kenyans are listening to podcasts as much as we, they're not that popular, but yes, Kenyans are listening to podcasts. Well, we don't have you know so many local podcasts, but when you find Kenyans listening to podcasts, you know, outside the country mm -hmm. from Africa, other African podcasts, but locally, as much as we don't have many podcasts, we have Kenyans listening to podcasts. All right. Yeah. Um, uh, Dixon, I can see you guys have a YouTube channel, you have SunCloud yeah. and ETC. Why is it so important to integrate all your channels um, or the, all your media entities? So we, uh, together, we are about five uh, who run 24-bit. But we, we have like the biggest uh, audience in tech for people who want smartphone reviews, people who want tech news. Mm -hmm. Together, we make a such a big audience and to control that audience around a conversation it's better if we come together and discuss things whether in video or in audio format because it depends with how you want to listen to our conversations you can watch our videos as we sit down and talk or you mm -hmm. can listen to what we say mm -hmm. through audio mm -hmm. yeah. 24 bit is an interesting name Dixon how did you guys come out, come about it <laughs> so uh, the CD quality sound is 16 bit. Okay. But if you go higher, it's a standard. It's an audio standard format. So 24 bit is high res audio. Mm -hmm. That's all it means. So your core audience, Nixon, are tech geeks, should I say? Mostly tech geeks, because we have, you know, other just normal people who want to get news about tech. Mm -hmm. So we target basically everyone. We're not just tech we everywhere to just target tech geeks. We'll be using so much technical language to actually bring all this information out. Mm -hmm. So we target just young people, millennials, targeting people within the, uh, the tech industry, within the business industry. So not really tech geeks. So we have uh, a target audience just all over. Okay. Yes. So your main audience are young people. Young people, yes. What do I need to set up podcasts? Can I just be in my, ho in my room with a microphone, Dixon? Yes, yes, because... Currently, smartphones are really uh, smart because the smartphone thing. <laughs> but uh, you find that a normal smartphone has at least one microphone. Most have three or four microphones. They can record very good audio, and you can kind of edit it to your taste and share whatever you want to share with people through your, from, your, from the record on your phone. So it doesn't have to be something fancy. I don't have to spend so much. You don't have to set up a studio like this to right. set up a podcast here. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Um, and uh, Nixon, what's the difference between a YouTube channel in terms of content creation? Mm -hmm. What's the difference between a, um, what it is that you guys have to consider probably for your YouTube channel vis-a-vis -vis when you are probably recording or um, doing content strictly for the podcast? Well. Uh, the difference is not that big because, you know, the thing is, we, like, we have channels, like a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. still have a SoundCloud, can a SoundCloud channel, and we have probably the same content on iTunes. So basically what we do is check the video content we shoot and extract the audio, then upload it on a, on a SoundCloud channel. That's how basically we work. So the difference is not that big because the content is just the same, right? Mm -hmm. The difference is on how the consumer chooses to interact yeah. with the content. Uh -huh. If you have enough data to watch, you can watch. But if yeah. you want to just listen to it when you're maybe traveling, when you're in, yeah, you can and choose then, to listen. And the idea of podcasts is really to download it and, and, and watch or listen to it offline. So that's how it works. Let's talk about how technology has probably changed um, storytelling and podcasts to be more specific, since that is your area of work. Um, what are some of the technologies, um, advances, should I say, Nixon, that has probably helped and propelled you guys um, in terms of setting up your podcast? Are there are certain softwares that probably you use. In short, what are your secrets <laughs> with the help of technology? Uh, first, I'll, I'll, I'll give you to the advancement of smartphones, mm -hmm. right? 
because uh, you realize most of the, like we can actually decide to edit our audio video just using our smartphones mm. and it actually works for us. Mm. Like we don't have to actually like uh, invest in so many software. Well, we try to, you know, make it as high quality. Yes, that's what we use, for example, uh, you know, editing software uh, using a laptop, using a, a Adobe or something. Right. But in terms of so softwares, smartphones are really helping us because recording, editing and uh, even we've done a, some episodes using our smartphones, just shooting a whole video using a smartphone. And you edit also on the smartphone? Yes, on the smartphone. Yes. And upload it directly. And, upload it directly. Yes. and the quality is good. And it will be full HD and it will look good and it will sound good. Now, Dixon, you have a background on science inform informatics. Informatic. How yeah. has that helped you? Uh, um, probably in your content and in your uh, nine months journey with podcast telling. So uh, I just recently graduated and my fourth year project for university was a podcasting system for my right. university. And I found them already started out with the podcast and that's why I joined them. But the, the education did not really impact the idea for podcasting. It's just that uh, technology has given us uh, avenues for discussing things in different ways. You could set up a discussion on environment, you could set up a discussion on politics, because you can't say that the media as it is can cover everything, but you can, uh, and you can't say that social media can get you out there to, to talk about everything. But mm -hmm. with technology and maybe YouTube channels and uh, podcasting systems, you find that you could have different topics being discussed to the in-depth most because you have time to sit down and talk. Right. Podcasting allows you to just sit down and talk about stuff. Okay. There's also, I love what you've said that you found them when the world is started and you had already graduated yes, and yes. perhaps school necessarily didn't, um, should I say, prepare you very well with the aspect of um, the podcast telling? I, I, I won't say it, it was like a subject of course we, talked, we took in university or anything. Mm -hmm. It was just an idea. I, I, I love the idea of podcasting because in school I used to listen to a lot of podcasts from around Africa and from around the world. They're just things you could listen to while doing other stuff. So yeah. as someone who is in podcast, someone who has just graduated school mm -hmm. and um, you studied science informatic, do you feel as if probably the education system, especially at such a high level in university, mm -hmm. they really pay attention to technology in this day and age? I would say some schools pay attention to technology and that's why we had an avenue, for example, like I said, it was a project of mine for fourth year mm -hmm. to set up a podcasting system for the school. Mm -hmm. So I will say there's that attention that's being given. I will just say that it's not like widespread enough. Okay. Not every university is doing it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nixon,